Hi guys, uh, I have a question. Do you want your recordings and your live streaming on Zoom to sound like this? Or do you want to sound like this? Your love never fails, never gives up, never runs out of me. Your love never fails, never gives up, never runs out of me. Hello, hi guys. Uh, this is uh, Shabiz Williams and uh, I am the pastor of uh, the Fountain of Law Christian Center and a fount of law ministries based right here in El Cajon, California. And uh, thank you for taking the time to watch this tutorial that I am making. This is my first tutorial actually I'm trying to make besides my preaching and teaching in the church as a pastor. Uh, but those are my sermons. But anyway, uh, but today I just thought that uh, my heart actually goes out to all the worship leaders out there go through the hassles of trying to get good sound onto zoom meetings you know and i know that churches all over across this time of the pandemic we're all being hit by that and uh, we're having a hard time trying to get together uh, in person to have our church services and it seems this just goes on and on and on but uh, some of you guys have been really struggling to get good sound when it comes to uh, good crystal crisp sound coming out uh, for your worship leading on um, in your church platform of the zoom and so today i'm going to be talking to you about and probably this will be very helpful for you to get good sound i've been tra i've been trying to spin my head around this whole thing trying to get good sound and for a couple of months i myself was struggling to get this uh, this thing done but i could not do it until i really did a little bit of research uh, go into the settings, have some tweaks in uh, from other people, you know, uh, for uh, having a good setup. And I've been able to get there now. So I thought of making this video so that you get blessed through this. So real quick, let's dive into straight into what's happening. I'm going to be screen sharing uh, uh, over here and so that you get an idea of what's going on and how you can do the settings, you know. So uh, the first thing uh, we need to understand is that Zoom primarily when it's been there in existence for a couple of years now, way before even the pandemic. But uh, Zoom was a platform that was basically used by uh, for for conferences by professionals, you know, having a meeting uh, through various uh, uh, def destinations. They all had to get together to have their board meetings or whatever. So it was basically set up primarily for conferences. It was never meant for live performances for music and for church worship services and things like that but then uh, pandemic hit and then uh, everybody jumped on to the platform of zoom and uh, it's by far still the most popular platform and we want to use that uh, and uh, but then zoom was not able to deliver uh, very good uh, audio sound for music and live performances you know so uh, recently uh, it was like i guess last year that they upgraded their uh, Zoom version and uh, so you know what's going on. So the first thing you want to do is drop down uh, and click on your icon of your settings. Don't bother about the general video also. Uh, by the way, uh, for my video, I'm actually using uh, a webcam uh, for the simple reason the, we the, the cameras that come installed on your laptop or <laughs> or your desktop or you know uh, whatever it is they are not really um, high definition cameras so if you are on a desktop or a computer or even a laptop i would suggest go ahead and make an investment into a good full hd webcam all right the webcam is really good have an external webcam installed or you can put it uh, and use it beside your computer or your laptop you know uh, wherever it is so make sure you have a good one and for me it's a usb camera that i have and it's pretty good my camera even has a small little uh, ring light on it also a small little ring light along with the camera which actually brightens up and lightens your uh, 
you know your presentation as you're uh, speaking or doing whatever you want to do maybe perform so you i have that kind of a webcam attached with a usb camera so that's attached to my computer or your laptop it can be whatever is available to you the next thing that you want to do is go to your audio this is the most important all right when you go to your audio you will want to make sure the settings are uh for the the microphone your mic is not going to be used from your webcam all right first things first if you have an external microphone which is probably a condenser microphone i would say use that all right so your mic is always supposed to be either uh i have i uh, by, by the way i have two microphones one is um the the usb uh you know condenser microphone that i have which i'm not using it right now because i'm using an audio interface all right so guys for those of you who are good musicians and you and and you love music and you want to have good worship leading i would say that here's another investment that you want to buy a good um, invest into a good audio interface for me i'm going to show you quickly an audio interface right here this is my audio interface that i use use i bought this a couple of years ago when i was in the city of new delhi for my uh, home studio recordings because i love to do music i love to write music i love uh, i have daws that are softwares to do recordings so that is the time i bought this and it's coming pretty handy now because i use that so i have this one for my mic this is the mic that i've plugged in over here and uh, the other one is the guitar that i have a plug in over here so i have it's basically a two channel audio interface that you can have your guitar or your keyboard or whatever you want to there are um, audio interfaces with three channel four channel five channel but those get expensive but this is what you really need for a simple worship leading for uh, one person or you can have line ins uh with a multi channel and run it through just one input you can even do that if you have a small little mixer separately i would say just take a line out and take it straight in into your audio interface and that way you can have the whole band performing and get great sound all right so having said that i have chosen now the m track audio interface for myself you know to get this good clear sound so make sure that you have uh your mic that is used for uh the mic that is inputted as um external audio interface or if you have a condenser microphone use a condenser microphone and make sure whatever it is but don't use the webcam microphone all right because the it just goes down okay and uh your headphones or whatever if you have speakers you can have the speakers let it run as default from your computer or your laptop or whatever it is all right now let's go to the settings real quick by default zoom always has this on this is where the big problem is guys all right if you've been trying to figure out what is the problem with your sound why does it come all so splattered and snagging in your sound the sound is splitting you know it's because this is on so what is actually happening is that when this is ticked on you are authorizing zoom you know you're authorizing zoom to actually suppress all the sounds so it 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 searches for the sounds that are like you know uh, frequencies that are actually not uh, okay you know it tries to cut off on its own and tries to dusting uh, dust things and that is where it creates a problem you know so rule number 1 all right now this is something that i need to let you know or rather rule number 2 rule number 1 was update your uh update your version of your zoom all right number 2 is make sure rule number 2 you have this automatic adjust microphone volume turn it to off you want to have this off all right this is very important you want to have this off and then go ahead and we will come down to the next thing is suppress background noise again the default is always going to be on auto all right make sure you don't click on uh, make sure you don't leave it on auto you want to have it low click on low from auto you move to low you want to have the setting to low all right not medium not high but on low 
So what happens is you you have this off and you got it on low. What you're trying to do is you are taking uh, you are taking the command away from Zoom, and you're giving a command now for the kind of sound that you want to. But don't worry about it. Um, uh, faint background noises. You want to have it low. Um, I have a good microphone, which is a SM58, which is incredible uh, because I don't need to worry about the faint background noises, uh, which you know, which actually uh, Zoom wants to take a uh, command off, trying to control all the sounds. But then that actually runs you into a problem. What you want to do is you want to take control and have it on low so that you control the sound the way you want it, okay? So you have it this way, and the good thing about a good microphone is, mine is a dynamic microphone, it's not a condenser microphone, but the good thing about dynamic microphones is if I move away this far, it's hard to even hear. So, so leave alone somebody else you know, outside. So I can be having a plane flying over my head and it's still not going to catch the sound, you know. Is it has the frequency to catch the sound barely like four or five feet away. That's it, you know. So, um, so I would still keep it at low because this is for real close uh, communication. All right, this will give you the best sound. The next thing you want to do is music and professional audio. Now, this is the feature that comes on Zoom five, uh, you know, uh, seven point. Uh, uh, you know, uh, 7 point, or, or, or sorry, 5.7 that we just took an update on. And so this is what they have started to feature on the new version. And so you have this version when you, uh, when you have it, I don't know whether default has it or not, uh, switched off or not, but you want to make sure that this is on, all right? You want to make sure this is on, all right? So make this on. Make this stick on, all right? And the next thing you want to do is enable these options when original sound is on, okay? So that is you want to have the high fidelity music mode on, which is great, all right? So you have a great high, well, who doesn't want a high good sound? So you want to tick this on. What you don't want to do, I say this again, what you don't want to do is do not tick on on the echo cancellation. So many times we think oh let's cancel the echo also let's you know you we want uh, zoom to do it no don't let zoom do it you know uh, take the command i said all right so you want to switch this off switch off the echo cancellation and switch off the stereo audio you don't need the stereo audio because it's going to increase your it's going to eat up your bandwidth and it's going to also slow down all the other people who are trying to receive the sound on the other end uh, because it's going to eat up a lot of their bandwidth also to get good, clear sound. So this is the main problem that people don't understand. They always want to have stereo. They want to have a noise cancellation. They want to have everything high, 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 high. You don't need to do that, all right? Sometimes some, some of the settings that you just need to turn it off will give you good, clear crystal sound, all right? So make sure you just have the high fidelity music mode on. Switch off the echo cancellation. Switch off, switch off the uh, takeoff the echo cancellation and take off the stereo audio. This is the way your setting should be. The next thing you don't need to bother about the ringtones because that's not a part of what you're looking so um, looking into. But now move to advanced. We're going to go to the advanced, right? Okay. Once you go to the advanced, I would say just leave it on auto. Okay. Um, uh, I tried to put it on my Windows, on Windows default, and I, s I started having some problems. So I would say just leave it on auto, echo cancellation, leave it on auto, because if you see back over here when we go back, we actually echo cancellation, we turned it off, all right? So when you turned it off out here, uh, there's no point of you turning and getting anything from here. So if you don't have an off switch, obviously you have to go by auto. You don't want to go aggressive, all right? So that actually bypasses the echo cancellation out here bypasses everything on the next one all right so this is your settings once you've done this you're good to go and i'm going to stop the screen share and let you have a good uh, uh, view and uh, listen to the sound that i have all right so let's go with this okay so welcome <laughs> I 
never fails, never gives up, never runs out of me. Your love never fails, never gives up, never runs out of me. Your love never fails, never gives up, never runs out on me. Oh. All right, so this is how you've been able to get a good sound. And I hope you were blessed uh, through the sound and this tutorial. And I hope uh, you will gain much out of this and will, able, uh, will be able to go to your settings, do this, and probably make some investments if you're not. And, and yes, you say, Pastor Chavez, but I don't have all this equipment that you have. Well, don't worry. The next two things, if you don't have this crystal sound is uh, you know have an external uh, condenser microphone let it sit in front of you and you can still get a good neat sound but make sure the settings remain the same even with your condenser microphone because there's lots of condenser microphones with usbs that are coming easy to plug in into your computers and your laptops and you can it's good to go for recordings of uh, everything that you do but make sure the settings remain the same all right whether it be through a usb uh, audio interface or whether it be through your condenser microphone so god bless you guys feel free to get in touch with me god bless you all the best uh, and may god use you bye bye <laughs>